I greet you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive my greetings. And from the church ERC Muyumbu. Worship team, God bless you so much. I love you. And you know it. We've had a wonderful time together. The time to serve the Lord together. Before me and my husband was sent uh, to other responsibilities. Therefore, coming back here to minister at home, it is a great privilege. We are grateful uh, for our parents, daddy and mommy, that trusted in us and granted us the privilege to, to minister on this pulpit. We're not taking it for granted. We thank the Lord and we thank mommy and daddy because they raised us and they trusted us today. Amen. I would like to appreciate my husband who came to support me. He is my lifetime friend. Uh, I don't know. I love how he support me. In any situation. Amen. We are going to study the word of God. We have an amazing theme this year. Uh, the Lord has given us an amazing inspiration to our parents. We really needed this in this specific year. We needed to hear that you can be happy in the midst of uh, hard situations. Since since last year 2020 to this year 2021, we have gone through hardships. Challenging and hard times. To tell people that in the midst of your trials, in the midst of your problems, you have a reason to be happy and joyful. We really needed this in this specific year. Maybe if this was the theme of previous year, it couldn't have the same meaning as this year. But the Lord who sees far gave an inspiration to daddy that this year is the year of joy. We all need a comforting word this year. We all need a, a, a good news, a word that will rejoice your heart. Everybody needs a word that will take him out of darkness and bring, gives him joy. 
Imani shimwe kuri iki cyumweru dutanye munsi. Be unto God for this week. Iki cyumweru kira determina neza impamvu yo kuba imbere y'Imana kwa rugufata biriya byose navuze hejuru byihumure ibyishimo no munezero ahandi udashobora kubibona. This week will give us a picture on how to live a life full of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abashakashatsi bajyanye n'ibyubuzima uh, researchers bajya bakora ibijyanye n'ibyubuzima health researchers bavuze ko they say ko umunezero n'ibyishimo they say that joy and and happiness bamaze kubikoraho ubushakashatsi mu mwaka wa 2018 after they've made a research in 2018 bagaragaza ko umunezero n'ibyishimo ari umuti they say that joy and happiness is a medicine. Bavuze ko ari umuti utuma umuntu asinzira neza. They say they say it makes one have a sound sleep. No kuvuga ngo iyo wagize ibihe by'umunezero ugasekukishima ugira nibihe byo kurya mu gasinzira umeze neza. They say when you've had a time of joyful and happiness you will experience sound sleep. Yes. Hanyuma ngo umunezero uh, n'ibyishimo bavuze kandi ko bigabanya stress na depression. They say that joy and happiness reduce stress and depression. Bigabanya ingorane zo kurwara indwara z'umutima. It reduces uh, risks of heart diseases. Yewe binakiza bituma umuntu atarwara indwara zo mu mihogo amanjine. And it reduces tonsils and cerebral uh, vascular diseases. It reduces cerebral vascular diseases. And it increases uh, the lifespan of an individual. As I was reading the report uh, that was published, they demonstrated problems. and they demonstrated a medicine but they didn't give a solution if you are exposed to laughter joy and happiness they say if you are exposed to the moments of joy and laughter it will bring healing I was happy to discover research, but limited. I understood that even though they did some research, but they're limited. There is to a point to, to demonstrate that joy is a medicine. But they couldn't demonstrate the source. Hallelujah. Zaburi ya 16 murongo wa 11 ariho ariyo igize teme yacu uyu mugoroba n'iki cyumweru cyose Our anchor verse for this week is Psalm 16:11 Haravuga ngo The Bible says Zaburi igice cya 16 murongo wa 11 Psalm uh, verse uh, chapter 16 verse 11 Uzamenyesha inzira y'ubugingo imbere yawe niho hari ibyishimo byuzuye mu kuboko kwawe kwiburyo hari ibinezeza iteka ryose turaca umurongo hariya ngo imbere imbere yawe niho hari umunezero hari ibyishimo byuzuye muzi ndindi mimpamvu mvuze ngo hari ibyishimo kandi bibiriya ikinyarwanda Impamvu mvuze ngo hari umunezero kandi bibiliya y'ikinyarwanda ivuga ibyishimo nuko muri version y'indi y'igifaransa icyongereza bavuga joy kandi joy no munezero uh, verse 11 you make me known you make known to me the path of life you will fill me with joy in your presence and the line in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand hallelujah uzagirira umunezero hehe ko tubonye ku munezero ari umuti ko nabashakashatsi yewe twizera ko bazubwenge babibonye ko ari umuti none 
uzakura he uwo munezero niba utazi kuza mu nzu y'Imana niba utazi kuza mu bikari by'Imana niba utazi kuza imbere y'Imana uyu munezero uzakura he ku ijambo ry'Imana yarivuze ngo imbere yawe data niho hari umunezero hari byishimo byuzuye bivuga ngo hari nibindi tubona bisa nabyo ariko bituzuye haleluya uh, where are you going to find this joy uh, we have understood that joy is a medicine but how can you access to joy if you're not coming to church Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't know God. If you don't know Jesus. If you don't know this man that we're saying in his presence. You just look at it as mere words. My beloved, how are you going to experience this joy which is a medicine? This evening I want you. I want each and every one. To understand that you have a right. You have a right to access to joy and happiness. But let me underline this. We all have one access point. Uh, either saved or not saved. We all meet at one point joy. Happiness. Happiness is a result of something that has happened to you. Satisfaction. It's a satisfaction that you have based on something you get. But joy is life. Hallelujah. 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 This, this evening, I want to emphasize on the person who have access to this joy. It's somebody who has a relationship with God. As somebody who has a pure relationship with God. There are some people who comes in the presence of God not because of him but because of what he's going to give them. Those people are mercenaries. Once they receive what they wanted to get, for them that is equal to happiness and goodbye. These are not the people that will experience joy in the presence of the Lord. And mercenaries, uh, what you give him, that's enough. He will work for you and you will pay him or her and that's enough. And that's and that's that's relationship. Relationship. God doesn't just want you to come and take his blessings but he wants a relationship. People who will experience this joy are not just fans. People who I'm not a, a, a good football fan, but when my team uh, is defeated, then I'm out. Probably this is your status in the house of the Lord. Probably you came looking for a husband, but now seven years, you haven't found him, and now you want to go. Maybe you were looking for a winning team and the team is, the, is being defeated. Probably you are that fan. Probably you are just coming to see what is happening in the house of God. You are just coming to see what's going, what is happening in the house of the Lord. You are just a mere fan. Because those who are going to experience this joy are not slaves of sins. 
They are not enslaved by the devil. They, they came out of their slavery. You cannot experience this joy that we're talking about. If you don't have this relationship with the Lord. Strangers will not experience this joy. I want to emphasize this evening. You can go in the house of the Lord. You can attend a concert. You can jump. You can shout. You can raise up your hands. Amen. Uh, those who are going to experience the joy are not those who will be shouting and jumping, but they will be shouting and jumping in the covenant. In the, with the Lord. Listen to what will bring joy in your heart. Is to have a covenant with the Lord. It's his salvation. Is to be a child. No kuvamu is to is to is to quit being a mercenary. No is to quit uh, being enslaved by the devil. Is to be free and become a child of God. Because when you are a child of God, the relationship that you have to be that child. Will create love between you and your father. As you're fellowshipping with the Lord in love. And we can tell it when we see somebody like that. People will even tell that you are motivated by the love of God. If there has been a time I repented before the Lord, it is when uh, I was in courtship with my fiancé. I have I've spent so many years as a worship leader. I said, Lord, I love you. I said many beautiful words to the Lord. But the time I fell in love with my fiancé, I discovered that I've been given, I've been given I tried to compare the sweet words that I was telling to my fiancé to God. The place of love, Hallelujah. you Am I talking Aha, to somebody? A, a place of love flows ha, worship ha, and A place of love, uh, it's a place of praise and worship. I don't feel it. If they tell you come and worship the Lord and you say you don't feel it, I will discover the dosage of the love you love Jesus. Because when you love, you become a poet. The relationship we have with God of being children it, it creates love. We worship God in love. That's what brings the presence of the Lord and creates joy in His presence. John chapter 1 verse 12. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. I want to talk to somebody who can just say, for me, I can only sing and have joy. If you 
If you don't have a covenant with the Lord, you can never truly worship God. Nukuri nabwo wabu uri kuramya ahubwo waba hari uri gukora jogging cyangwa se ibindi animation nibindi byose bitajyanye no kuramya imana You will basically be simply singing and doing other stuff Mbere yuko simbuka before jumping uba wasimbutse mu mutima kubera kwizera You have already jump you already jumping in your heart by faith Hallelujah Hallelujah Abagarati igice cyagatatu murongo wa 26 Galatians uh, chapter 3 verse 26 Haravuga ngo mwese murabana b'Imana mubiheshejwe no kwizera Kristo Yesu no muragwa wi wa ubihawe n'Imana uba umwana ukaba no muragwa ubihawe n'umwana n'Imana binyuze mu kwizera The Bible says for all of you are children of God through faith in Jesus Christ Hallelujah Hallelujah Niba ushaka kumenya kuramya Imana kwiza kugira ngo ugire benefits zo guha guhabwa umunezero n'ibyishimo muri presence y'Imana Do you want to experience the benefits of praising and worship in the presence of God Ukeneye igihango hagati yawe n'Imana You need a covenant Igihango kigukura mu bucancuro the covenant that would take you out of mercenary. The covenant that would bring you out of slavery. The covenant that would bring you near the Lord Jesus. Some people like to say, I just love to go and sing and hear the songs in the house of God. You will enter singing and go back the same. Kuberako icyatumye bo baririmba ntabwo ari cyo cyatumye uza kubareba no kubumva Because what has made them singing is not what has brought you Iki cyumweru niba ukunda worship team ya IRC Masoro If you enjoy uh, in the love the worship team in here Ukavuga kuti ndajya kuri link ya YouTube mbumve ntabwo bihagije It's not enough for you to go on YouTube and listen Ukeneye guhuzwa nabo numwuka utuma baririmba hano You need to be joined with them with the spirit that is pushing them to fellowship and Hallelujah. Imani irashaka yuko umuntu wari we wese uri bugire umunezero n'ibyishimo imbere yayo abari umuragwa. God wants that somebody who is coming to experience his joy becomes an heir. Ubu buragwa tubukomora mu kuba turabana. An heir we we get our inheritance from being children of God. You cannot enter into a person's family. And just simply claim that because that person is rich, I'm just going to go in his house and become part of his family. That's not how it's supposed to be. He has to give you give birth to you uh, physically. Or, or he has to adopt you legally. We thank the Lord because we are heirs through the blood of Jesus Christ. Our, the joy is granted to us. Because we discover that it comes from the Lord. Therefore we have access because we have a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Other people who will have access to joy and happiness. They are lovers. Hallelujah. Let us read Psalm. Of 30 verse 5. Ntabwo Bibiliya yari naniwe kuvuga ngo mwese 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 ngo ni muririmbira uwiteka a a abaririmbira ishimwe uwiteka nabakunzi be gusa The Bible says uh, sing to the Lord all you godly ones Ndashaka kukwibutsa yuko gusenga cyangwa se guramya imana no kwihimbaza biri muri bimwe twita ubwoko bw'amasengesho dukora I want to remind you that praise and worship is a type of prayer 
nabwo kuri imirimana no kwihimbaza mu mbyino nabwo bikorwa nabantu badafite badafitanye isano n'Imana praise and worship uh, through dancing are not done but people who don't have a relationship with God. Ijambo ry'Imana yaravuga ngo amasengesho y'umunyabyaha ni kizira imbere y'Imana. The Bible says the prayers of a sinner are an abomination to the Lord. Rwose na ni kizira ni by'Imana itabishaka kumva izo ndirimbo ririmba udakijijwe ukaziririmbira ahantu uvuga ngo ziri kugufasha ni kizira mu matwi y'Imana. That song that you're singing when you're not saved it is an abomination to the Lord. Only lovers of the Lord will sing for him. But when sinners are singing to the Lord, the eyes of the Lord will shut down. The ears, sorry, will be shut down. The only prayer that uh, the only sinner's prayer that God can hear is a prayer of repentance. But any other kind of a prayer, you are, you are just doing it outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, another thing is those who praise the Lord are his friends. They are friends of the Lord. Those who are saying, I miss singing and praising and worshipping the The Bible says that he dwells in the midst of praise and worship of his children. The Bible says says he dwells in the midst of praise and worship of his children. If you are singing and praising God, but not uh, applying the principle of calling God as a friend, you have missed it. You can even experience frustration instead of joy. Because you are sowing in the soil that doesn't belong to you. Uh, let me tell to my friends who don't want to be saved. Who have uh, uh, rejected Jesus. One time they sang to the Lord. They reached to a point where they are missing it and, and they are singing secular songs. And, and they come up with a song of praise and worship. That song is behind the line. Because you need to have something that is pushing you to You cannot just sing. There is a covenant that pushes us to sing. There is a friendship that pushes us to sing. There is a love that pushes us to sing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another person that has access to the, to the joy and happiness in the praises of God is a righteous man. Because God can have many children, but he will have quarrelsome children. The Bible says in Psalm 33, Psalm 33, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 33, verse 1 to 3. Haravuga ngo mwaba kiranutsi mwe. Mwishimira uwiteka gushima gukwiriye abatunganye 
Let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the pure to praise him. It is fitting. Actually, it is fitting. It is fitting. It is fitting for the pure to praise That is the reason why we lift holy hands to the Lord. Even if you don't have a pure heart, there is going to be a condemning spirit that will tell you put down your hand. Because there is nothing more That's the reason why the Bible says it is fitting for the pure to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only hands are to be lifted up to the Lord. We only bring a pure heart to praise him. Godly song that are born out of relationship. You will only uh, reap frustration if you bring anything outside uh, the godly songs with a pure heart. But this evening, you have a choice. The Bible says, a worthy are those who have in their hearts a way to Zion. Because when they reach a valley called Baca, they turn it into a spring of water. When they reach in in, in Sadness, they turn it into joy. When they reach into a confusing situation, they bring order. That is the reason why when Saul was possessed by evil spirits, the Bible says, the evil spirit that was coming from the Lord haunted soul. They didn't have a place where he can get, he can be cured. They, they didn't lack a means. But they didn't know where to get the real medicine to cure the heart. Until they brought David on the scene. And he came with the pharmacy. Hallelujah. He said, I am a, I am a farmer. But I have a divine pharmacy. Glory. Hallelujah. And he started uh, singing and praising. As he was playing guitar, and that, and that would appease the heart. Oh, brothers, if only you can know that praise is a medicine. If somebody sang that the pharmacy in me is my medicine. It heals other people. It heals the soul. worship leader, if you are a worship leader, if you are a singer and you have a covenant with God, I want to encourage you to do it very well. I want to encourage you to do it well. Do it in the covenant. Do it being known by God. Do it when you know that your voice will open the heavens. Do it with a pure heart and pure hands. And, in, and, and instead of you reaching to a point asking people to lift up their hands but you are ashamed to lift yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you understand what I'm talking to you. that the source of joy is to praise Him in a good way. And to praise Him being in the covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I want to end saying there is something that can push you. There is something that can make you have a possessed that joy. There is something that will motivate you to come into the courts and the praises of God. The, the Bible says, come in his praises, praising and worshipping. When a child has done mistakes, and he hears that the parents are coming back home, that child will be ashamed to approach the parents. That child will go, will run away. But when he knows that he is standing, uh, purely, he will go, he will run to his parents. He will come, he or she will come running to his parents freely. Those with a pure and a righteous heart are those who are called to approach the throne of God. When they hear the parents knocking on the door, they say, I have a privilege to see my parents. If, because I reached in his presence, my problems are solved. Even though I am an orphan, if because I'm in his presence, no, it is so. Do, mupaka, Even though I am a widow, if I'm in his presence, it is solved. No, Even though I'm in the presence of God, it is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is my prayer tonight. In the presence of God, there is joy. Joy unspeakable. But those who have access, those who have access, those who have access, who have those who have access in the praises of God, and only those who are, have a covenant. That covenant will be, will be, you will have, you will be in the covenant through faith. Through faith in Jesus Christ. And only those who accepted that covenant and and they walk in righteousness. And they are called the children and righteous people of the Lord. And as they lift up their voice, heavens will hear the voice. And the heavens will be opened. And joy which is their portion will flow down. And their lives will be transformed. Hallelujah. 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 Muremera y si amas es no oh ha hiri umundo uite kakunda uashi kamiche kumuti manaza na wisi abaho.
mutima Oh uh-huh. 